Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be going over two things in one video, pretty much combining two videos into one. I feel like they would have been like half videos each way anyways, or at least the second one would have been, so I want to just combine them together. So first, first half of the video we're going to be going over the best free 95 overall playoff hero to choose from your fantasy pack. Second half of the video we're going to be going over the series 4 information, they did release the patch notes and everything, well, not patch notes, but they released the gridiron notes on it, or per se. But guys, super excited, so if you don't know already, if you haven't watched my morning video, go watch that first. Go check out the uh, all the content that they come out. But if you already watched that, then you guys know what's going on. So the NFL Playoffs Missions, right over here. Earning 95 overall playoffs here. So to earn this, you got to play the Playoff Celebration Challenges. So you come over to Playoff Celebration Challenges. Come on over here, and as you can see, Playoff Celebration. You need a total of 60 stars. You get the 60 stars, you get a free 95 overall nap NFL Playoffs player. And then just some more coins. So you could essentially go through this one right here, this 56. Play through all these on max stars, and then play like through one of these, and you're pretty much out to go. Or play them on like three stars or two. You know, even if you mess up, you have another solo. You don't have to keep replaying them because there's more than enough. But that pretty much is it for that. You get the 60, and then you will unlock a 95 overall fantasy pack. Now, we weren't sure at first if it was confirmed it was fantasy, but we did see people on Twitter who already got it and claim it as a fantasy pack. So that is exciting news. So let's go over my top selections. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six. My top six now. They are in an order. Now, remember, these orders are not, you know, they're not Bible, right? They're not set in stone. The way this works is pretty much this. Let's say, let's say my first guy is a wide receiver, right? But you have Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, all these wide receivers. You don't need a wide receiver. So you head to my second guy. Let's say it's a middle linebacker. You don't believe in using middle linebackers this year. You have enough, or it's a safety, right? My next one's a cornerback. And you're like, okay, that's what I need. So your first option is the cornerback, right? Don't just take my first. Because remember, they're not. It's not like you can just take the best one and sell it. Literally, whichever one you take, it needs to be valuable for your team because it's not. So make sure you are picking one that can help you. So it could be even my fourth option could be a left tackle. And you're like, okay, well, I have the first five guys he has on his list, but his fifth option is a left tackle. I don't have a left tackle on my team. I need him. So that's your first option. So pretty much the way this list is to com compile like a mix and variation of like the top six guys I think you should take. Put them in an order that I believe in, and then you can just work on it from there. Let's head on over through the list so I can show you guys my order, show you guys just about everything I'm going through here. So can we go over to the auction block? We can do this one by one here. So the thing with this promo, right? These cards are all 95 overall, so they're not all going to be meta cards. So I have to find the ones that could be at least closest to meta or at least make a difference. Right? Not all of them will, and that's just the, the you know the nature of it. So I start off with my my sixth choice, which is going to be like I made I made pretty clear in my example, Ronnie Stanley. Now Ronnie Stanley, left tackle for the Ravens, great choice. Like I said, but do you take him over all the meta guys? Not exactly. What I like Ronnie Stanley for is simply this. Like I said, you have a god squad. You're constantly buying the. You're always buying meta players like new cornerback wide receiver. It doesn't matter. You're always buying them. You have a ton of coins, God Squad, but you don't like spending money in your lines. What you do is you lock up a good line spot like Ronnie Stanley. You get high ninety block shot, high ninety sorry, high ninety pass up, pass blocking, high ninety run blocking, and you call it a day, right? And you lock them in. You can keep focusing on your quarterbacks, running backs, cornerbacks, free safeties, strong safeties. But you lock up the linemen. So this is more for like God Squads that don't like to buy linemen, but they always buy the best of everything else. So that's kind of like your like your last resort if you really doesn't fit. Nothing fits into your team. Next is Jalen Ramsey. Now, Jalen Ramsey would have been higher. He only comes in at number five here. Now, the reason he doesn't come in higher because of the speed. But the reason he made the list at 92 speed is because of everything else he can get. So, powered up and cammed up, right? He'll get 93 speed, 95 excel. Still really good, but he will get 99 play rec, 99 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, and 99 press. Now, many players in this game can get every single thing, 99 play rec, man, zone, and press. So, he's going to be a lockdown, shutdown corner. The only thing I fear is on next-gen Madden. Specifically, I don't know how much his speed is going to hurt him and being outran, not being able to play his zones or his man, you know what I mean? So hopefully it doesn't hurt him too much, but that's going to be number five. Now, as we get in higher, these are going to be my top tier choices. Now, Tyran Matthew looks so good. Again, another guy like Jalen. If he had a higher speed, he'd probably be number one, but 92 speed, powered up though. So he gets a 93 speed, 95 excel again, but he's a safety. So I'm more inclined you to put on a nickel spot, slot corner. There's more options for him, so I'm less worried about where his speed's going to fit. You know what I mean? Like, Jalen has to be on a corner. On a, he's going to be on a receiver or manned up. At least with Tyron, he won't be. Now, Tyron Matthew, why do I like him? He'll get 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, just like Jalen Ramsey. So, if you run a um, like a storm blitz or you run a mid blitz or anything and Tyron Matthew's locked from tight end, typically the safety gets beat there. He's going to have 99 man coverage. He's probably able to lock up and one step ahead 
on him, you're probably going to be able to just jump any route they try to do on him. And then he also has 99 zone, so if he's playing back in his zone, he'll play it. You put him at linebacker, he'll play it. He's going to be one of the most versatile players in the field. He can play at slot corner. He could play at strong safety, free safety, in the box, linebacker. You know what I mean? Like Mike, like kind of like a Mike. He'd just be there. If you know they're not running it, just put him down low, let him pop out. If you run one of those meta defenses where the guys pop out, you can have him pop out too. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so much potential for this Tyron Matthew card, which is why I really like him. But moving on, guys. Of course, we do have some more guys on this list here. Now that was number, I believe, four. So we do have three more. Um, the next one is another guy that again I really like because of his speed and because he can be a user. Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams is super solid, despite him not being like you know name brand. Like of course he's good in real life, but he's not like some of the names unless like Jalen Ramsey. But to Marcus Williams is really good. Powered up too. He will get 95 speed, 96 excel. Gonna be one of the fastest users in the game. We'll have we'll get up to 98 zone coverage, which is the only issue with him. He's not high. He doesn't get 99 zone, so he must be user. You know what I mean? He can't just be left alone in the zone because he won't get... Well, he can be, but he won't get the 99 zone, which is kind of what we're hoping for. But crazy play rec, 99. Crazy speed, crazy excel, decent height. Just about everything you do wanted out of a free safety, which is why he's up there. Next, guys, number two on the list is a guy that... He's just like a fan favorite in Madden. Like, we just like this guy. Denzel Ward. Great card. 95 overall cornerback. Again, we'll get 95 speed, 95 excel, which puts him in that upper echelon of speed. So... Thing is, if you have a guy with 95 speed like Marcus Williams and Denzel Ward, you really don't got to worry about the stats too much. You know he'll get the the speed matters first typically in this game because that's just how it is. He will get 99 play rec powered up, chemed up, 99 man, 99 press. So he's going to be a man press 99 corner with 95 speed, which is insane. The only thing is his zone, but again, that's his extra stat. Like if you're running a man scheme, you're probably not even noticing it as much. But he's super solid. And my number one option, obviously, one of my favorite guys in the league right about now. DK Metcalf. Now, DK Metcalf is super solid. And remember, his last card was glitchy, but a low overall. This one will be a 96 overall DK. He will have 96 speed, 96 jumping, 93 catching, 95 catching traffic, 95 spec catch, 94 short running, 91 uh, well, medium, 94 deep. So you can either go, you can go go deep on this card if you want, or play fake and either get 99 short or 99 medium, deep route running, sorry. He will get 99 deep route running, let's just say. I believe 99 spec. He will also go ahead and get 96 speed. He will be six foot three with 78 strength, which is huge, especially when you know making trying to make big jump balls or trying to box people out or trying to fight for you know fight for yards. 95 jumping, which is crazy too. He will have decent stamina, 81, nothing crazy there. He'll have 92 carrying, 81 truck, 81 change of direction, 91 stiff arm, 87 juke. Some really, really good tackles. 91 break tackles, some great stats here, guys. This DK Metcalf is my favorite card by far. And again, it's the most fun name on there, right? Like, Jalen, they're all fun, but DK Metcalf is going to be a wide receiver, you know, an offensive player that you can really use. There's really no glitchy offensive players from this up promo. So having one like that is really fun. Guys, that wraps up that. Let's head on over to the Series 2 notes. Sorry, Series 4 notes. Guys, right, so quickly, let's go over this. Madden 21 EA Sports is going to be the Gridiron notes here. Series 4 update details. Hey, Madden community, the Series 4 updates target to be released on Friday, January 15th. Anything changeable, make sure to let uh, players know. So they know it's great, though, guys. We did get the playoff promo. Just about a little bit after on time, but just about on time. We will get Series 5, 5, we'll get series 4 on the 15th, which means Team of the Year will probably come shortly after. Very shortly after. So, remember, as per usual, new Series program is half. So, if you have Series 3 trophies, you have 1,000, you get 500 in Series 4. You have 200 trophies, you'll get 100. Just cut it in half, and that's how many trophies you'll have. If you have 100 uh, Series 3 trophies, they will convert to 50 Series 4 when the new Series launches. Also on Friday, there will be new Series Redux players. These are LTD player items that were in previous series that will now be available in packs as non-LTDs. The key changes you will see to non-LTD players as follows. The item artwork will have a different border and stamp. They'll be like kind of orangey, and the LTD will be gone. They will also no longer quick up with 250,000 coins, but for their equal amount of training at their overall. Please note that LTD players in Series 3 will remain unchanged, including their quick sell value. Only new non-LTD versions of these players will be introduced as packs. So here's the thing. There's going to be a big list, as you guys can see here, because, of course, we had a long, broad, like, gap in between the last series so team of the week LTDs that will be introduced as reduxes if you see a guy on this list guys there's two things to realize here first if you have one of these guys as an LTD you probably want to sell them for as high as you can because once his redux come out uh the redux is the exact same card just a lot cheaper it's like their budget option but you get the same stats also if you see a card in here and you've been wanting to buy him congratulations you're gonna get him for super cheap team of the week we got Joey Bosa Big Ben Melvin Gordon Chris, jo uh, Chris Jones Mike Evans Norris Jenkins Devontae Parker Nothing too great there. Legends, John Hanna, Robert Mathis, Steve McNair, Lot, Chad Johnson, Jack Youngblood, Lynn Swan, Cliff Harris, Chris Cooley, Mo Lewis, Jimbo Covert, Leroy Selman, Lance Allworth, 
Ted Hendricks, Rich Gannon, Troy Vincent, Sean Alexander, Strahan, Finley, and Williams. Now, Strahan, some names to follow. Folks here, Strahan, Troy Vincent, Rich Gannon, <clears throat> Ted Hendricks. These are some good names that are going to be introduced super cheap, so definitely be checking them out. <clears throat> LT, Saquon Barkley was a big name. Again, the issue with him is he's already been out. He's already been like outmade. But again, if we do get another Saquon, you can. You wouldn't need him to be powered up, so that could be cool. We have a Cordy, the, uh, Cooper Cup, Chandler Jones, Brandon Brooks, Roquan Smith, Tyler Boyd, Shaquille Griffin, Andrew Norwell, Harold Landry, Marquise Pouncey, Kareem Jackson, Todd Gurley, Nick Bosa. All these cards are pretty much played out at this point. Theme teams are great, though, right? If you need any of these players for theme teams, you will be able to get them. Most feared, DeAndre Hopkins. Again, nothing great there. Autumn Blast, Harrison Smith, and Drew Brees. Nothing useful there as well. Blitz LTDs, you got Kyler Murray. Cool, but not great. The Forrest Buckner, Evan Ingram, Cam Chancellor, Tyree Kill, Buda Baker, Josh Jacobs, Jadavion Clowney, Zach Martin, Dante Jackson, Brandon Ayuk, Daryl Henderson, Emmanuel Ogba, Chris Godwin, Montez Sweat, Kyle Rudolph, and Jason Verrett. Zero chill, we got Stephon Gilmore, DK Metcalf, and Heinz Ward. Now, DK is a safety there, so that is different from the DK I just went over. Gilmore and Ward, uh, the DK safety is pretty cool. Heinz Ward's pretty cool. Overall, though, guys, that is the list. That is going to be pretty much all for Series 4. Now, you guys are probably wondering where's the other info. This may just be it. There may be some, some there may be some solos, but again, that's not going to be here. But it is all the Series 4 info we do have for now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn that noti bell. Join the family. If you guys need coins to pick up any of these players, if you, if you got, let's say you got the free one, but you still want some more, head on over to Mutt Reserve. Use code POODLE. You can get 30% off your order. Pick up some coins. I'm out. Peace.